what initiated the issue, um, I had a conversation uh, with one of the children's mother, and she told me that another <coughs> mother told him that basically gave him an ultimatum because we were pregnant around the same time. Mommy. And it was so crazy because Mommy. me and it's real. okay, me and that mother had a conversation. I didn't think anything was an issue. Um, well, it's a conversation I had with uh, my son's grandmother. And so when I called the mother to, to try to tell her what was going on, after I was asking her, did she say that? Because it was told to me that she was a part of it. And so um, she automatically started lashing out on me. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't in a I wasn't in a place of feeling like I could have handled it better. Um, at the same time, I was defending myself, you know, because I didn't expect it from her, you know. So uh, that situation never got resolved, and I guess because of how long it has been, I don't think that the trust will really, really be solidly there because of it and how many people were involved. Um, as far as my husband, the grandmother, um, she basically said, because it was a time where um, my child father did want to allow my son to come to Houston. So he can know his siblings. Because the mother, the, the child mother that I was all right with, I was cool with, um, <clears throat> she didn't have a problem. I didn't have an issue with her at all. Not that I know of. You know what I'm saying? Not openly. If I did, I wouldn't know about it. She did. But so far, I didn't have an issue with it. <clears throat> my husband's mother, my in law, she, however, did. She felt like if I was to send my son down there, anything could happen. I may not see my son again and all that different type of stuff. So, so being protective, of course, I just was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Let me have the but boy. long story short, hold on, baby. Long story short, man, you know, um, it's always good to build a level of trust first especially if it's new you have to build trust you can't just go off into the sunset and say this is how it's going to be a level of trust has to be built if it's not built then what do you expect because once so many different opinions get involved then it's out of your control, it's out of that person's control, and then once again, the child is affected. So no, I'm not the type of mother that would keep a child away from his father. I just felt like it was supposed to be a level of trust that was supposed to be built. And if it's not built, then how you expect me to feel? Knowing that that child has been attached to me since he was conceived eating the same thing as me, been breastfed, everything fully attached to me mommy do you expect? mommy you know what I'm saying? mommy when you got one person mommy. in one ear hey mommy no they playing baseball baby, that's a game that's a full game mommy you can't just run out there mommy you heard me right? you heard what I said they're playing a game. That's a game, baby. A game? Yeah. Yeah, we get a card. <laughs> Name. Nothing I'm talking about. She <laughs> say yes. Boy. Guys, they playing baseball over there. And I don't want my son in the middle of it because he don't know nothing about that. All he knows is a playground. He's here playing. That's all he know. And they playing ball. They they throwing, like, pitching balls. And I, I'm like, my baby run out there. <laughs> 
and get knocked by a ball. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm going to be mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, upset. So, no. Um, yeah. I mean, build that foundation. Build that trust. And try, from a personal experience, man, keep your folks out your business. Keep as many people out your business as possible. Especially when they can keep them out your business. Keep them out your business. Because they're going to only speak out of, out of fear. They're not going to speak out of logic. And what tends to happen nine times out of ten, once, once they got what they want, both parties got what they want, now it's conflict. If you pull yourself out that situation, nobody gets what they want. Now they become teams, and they start teaming up against you. And then saying, oh, that person was the problem the whole entire time anyway. The whole time they had something, they sitting and eating and conversing amongst each other, not knowing that they all betrayed each other. They just couldn't see it. And if, that, if you had enough distraction around, you could never get around to that part. And before you knew it, you done left, began living your life, and started moving on before the truth gets out. And when the truth gets out, now this person, two parties are in despair because they should have got all the information first. But I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go. <laughs> Y'all be blessed.